Today we are going to be talking about 12 ways to stay organized and productive at work. So if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me just take a sip of my pink drink. So let's get started with tip number one. And tip number one is to plan ahead. So what I do is I have a spiral notebook where it just lists all of my tasks that I need to get done the next day. So I'll just write down the to-dos. So when I get in the next morning, I know right off the bat what I need to get done. So I do this before I leave, or I like to do that right before I go to sleep, but have some type of plan of what you're gonna need to get done for the next day. So you're not just coming in frazzled, but you actually have a list of things that you need to get done. and. A lot of things to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Tip number two is to get to work earlier and I recommend this for two reasons. Number one is to avoid traffic and number two is to avoid your co-workers. When you get to work earlier, so for me it takes about an hour to get to work if I'm sitting in traffic or it could be an hour and 10 minutes but if I leave earlier it only takes me 45 minutes to get to work. So coming into work earlier also has another perk and that is less people are in the office so not a lot of people are emailing you not a lot of people are asking you questions asking you to do this and that so because of that it is the quiet before the storm so number three is having my meetings earlier in the morning than in the afternoon so if i'm in charge of the calendar and i'm in charge of picking a date and a time for the meeting, I am doing that in the morning so that I could just get those meetings out of the way and I can just get started on working. Number four is to get enough sleep. So I try to get at least seven hours a day. I feel like when I don't get a lot of sleep, I can get cranky. I think when you don't sleep as much, it does affect your brain and it does affect your performance. So for me, sleep is very, very important. Number five is to leverage technology. And this is both to stay organized and to be productive. When it comes to productivity, you want to find ways where you can make the process of what you're doing quicker. Technology is just continuing to expand. And if your company doesn't invest in technology, maybe write a proposal what you think can get done if they do adopt this in technology. What are the benefits that are gonna come out of it? Number six is to learn to delegate. So this is a bit tricky because I know if you just started off working, maybe you don't have that ability just yet. But as you move up, you are gonna have people that helps you on these team engagements or on these projects. So what I like to do is I like to delegate as much as I can to even the workload. Learn to trust the people that are working with you and being able to just give them the work and see how they run with it. I think it's really important because you cannot do everything yourself as much as you sometimes want to. Delegate is a very important skill and hopefully we all can learn to perfect it. Number seven is to always track the progress of engagements or projects that you're on. You never want to just look at the final duty as a end goal. You want to set these mini deadlines for yourself to get to that goal. Being able to not only see the bigger picture, but also seeing the little steps in between to get to the big deadline is also really important. Number eight is that I try to review everything in electronic format. There are some rare occasions where I am printing things on paper, but I think it's just better for the environment if you just aren't printing everything and reviewing everything on paper. So what I try to do is I try to get used to reviewing things electronically so I'm not just printing out stacks of paper and after reviewing it, just bring it out or recycling it. Number nine is utilizing calendars. So I have my own planner and I personally like this planner because it starts off in August of 2019 and it ends in December 2020. It has the goals, birthdays, anniversaries, and to-dos. And so I really like this to-do list here so you're not missing these events and you're planning accordingly. Number 10 is to keep my workspace clean. So what I like to do is periodically, I would just make sure that all 
the surfaces are clear of clutter and just making sure that I stay organized. I think that having a clear space means a clear mind. Number 11 is to also keep your files on your computer organized as well. Create mini folders for each task or each project that you're on. So take a little time to set it up and then get in the motion of filing things in the right places. You'll get the hang of it and you won't have to have a billion files on your desktop or your downloads and things like that. Just be able to delete documents that you don't need and organize accordingly. And number 12 is to take breaks. I personally do not like sitting at my desk during lunch, so I try my best to go out go outside and enjoy lunch with my coworkers. So taking breaks, whether that means taking a lunch break or just taking mini breaks throughout the day where you can just maybe walk outside, get fresh air, or just being able to take a coffee break or a tea break if you want to. But having that light breather so that you can be more efficient and more effective when you come back. So that concludes this video. That is 12 tips and being productive and organized at work. Leave a comment down below. What are some of your tips in staying organized and productive? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit subscribe. I post a lot of videos on this type of stuff and I'll talk to you guys later.